How are you today? That's great news. And welcome to our brand new gaming store. Yes, it's fairly new. We just opened about a week ago. We're still getting new shipments of consoles and new games every day. But for right now, we have a overstock on older consoles. So if you're in the market for an older console, we've probably got that for you. A newer one, we might not have in stock. You're here for an older console anyway? Okay, what brings you in? Uh, classic, a PS2. Um, PS2 is obviously a great console to go with. Very reliable, very fun. Alright, so have you ever owned a PS2 before? No? Okay. So, would you like me to not only find you a PS2, but also go through some games that are our top sellers? I can do that for you. Um, how long do you have? Do you want me to go through in detail each game? Okay, I can do that for you. And I can also show you some accessories you're going to want with your PS2. But first things first, the PS2 itself. Let me just grab one. This is what brings you in today. How much do you know about PS2s? Is this for you or a gift for a child or something? You don't know much? Okay, well, I'll, I'll go over some basics for you. First off, there is the ability to not only stand it up like so, but you can also have it laying flat. I prefer standing up. It gives you more space in the room. The PS2 will come with one DualShock 2, which is the paddle that you use to play the games, and one AV adapter cord, and one uh, power supply cord. Now, you also notice on the front of the PS2 two slots for memory cards. Games on the PS2 are not nearly as big as games nowadays, so a 16 megabyte card is pretty standard nowadays. But you also get two USB slots up here. I'm sure you know all about USB slots. So this is the console itself, and this one is actually used if you are not too picky about it being used or new this will be about half off and I've already tested it myself I know that it is in working order so used okay all right let me just set this off to the side then so now I'll show you the paddle This is a DualShock 2 paddle. This paddle plugs in right under the memory card slots that I showed you before. And uh, is one of the best paddles ever made, in my opinion. Everything I'm going to tell you today from memory cards to games, it's all opinionated. So, <laughs> don't even know if that's a word. Okay. There's actually initials on the back. RJS. So obviously this paddle is used also. Is that okay? All right. Uh, do you need to know the prices as I go or do you want a total at the end after you pick everything? The console itself, a used PS2, they're still pretty common so it'll be about $40 and you also get a choice of a game and this comes with it so you don't have to worry about an extra charge but you will have to worry about a memory card if you would like one but yep yeah, this is a pretty
pretty standard PS2 paddle. Only a little bit of wear and tear. All right, so let me just set this off to the side too. And would you like to go to games next or memory cards? A memory card is definitely uh, recommended. So um, I'll show you our two options that we have right now. Right now, we have pre-owned eight megabyte Sony memory cards. Uh, one of these memory cards will run you um, $13. Like I said, it's pre-owned, so there might be some storage taken up by somebody else's games, but all you have to do is just delete them and you'll get your full eight megabytes worth in this memory card. Like I said, this is uh, Sony's uh, original standard memory card, so you can't go wrong with this. But if you're in the market for a bigger memory card for about the same price, we can go off-brand. If we go off-brand, I have used this next memory card my whole life. It's called Max Memory. Now, although it's not name brand Sony, you do get double the amount of storage with this memory card. And it has never failed me. So just because it's generic doesn't mean anything. If you got one of these, it's very hard to fill a 16 megabyte memory card unless you buy a lot of video games. So this one's going to run you 13 also. So do you want memory or name brand? You'll go with the 16? Okay. Let me set that to the side for you. Now all we have to do is go through a list of games. Like I said, we don't have every game on market right now because we're still getting shipments in, but I can show you our 20 best sellers if, if you're interested in that. Okay, so just sit down and uh, I guess enjoy my video game showing show. Where should I start? Ford Racing 2. Now, I believe that this is the first video game that I ever got on my PS2. And although it's not as great as other racing games you may have played in the past, um, it, it's still a pretty good game, especially at the price. Uh, it's only going to be three dollars unless you choose to use your free game on this but would you like me to read you the back of the cases okay I can do that for you it says drive the legend the anticipated sequel to Ford racing has finally been created to sustain its reputation, Ford Racing 2 has new and improved cars, adding tracks and challenges and more thrills than ever. With such a big selection of Ford vehicles, ranging from the 49 Ford to the latest Mustang GT concept, picking out a car will be a lot harder than you might expect. Ford Racing 2 is ready to put you in the driver's seat and bring you for a ride you'll never want to forget. Are you daring enough to put yourself in that seat? Now, like I said, I'm going to be saying my opinions on these games. Just because I say I like a game or don't like a game does not mean the same for you. I, ha 
have games in the list I'm going to show you that I would much rather um, recommend to you. But if this is something you're interested in, it is still an all-around solid game. Okay, now I'm going to continue. Classic. Have you ever heard of Guitar Hero? Guitar Hero is a music game, obviously, and what it is is you buy this game and you buy a fake remote guitar and you play along as if you're actually playing the real song on a real guitar in a very simplistic, minimalistic way. As you can see, that's the guitar you would want to get right there. Now, I have put hundreds, well, countless hours into games like this. Uh, they are really a great experience, especially for parties. And you can buy more than one guitar, and you can duel each other. If that's something you want to do, I'll just read you some of the songs. Uh, Beast and the Harlot by Avenged Sevenfold. Killing in the Name of Rage Against the Machine. And Shouting the Devil by Motley Crue. But there's over 55 songs on it, as it states in the back, so you'll find something for you. Anything else I really need to tell you about this, or is that something you're interested in? You want me to put this in the yes pile? Okay, I'll put this in the pile. We'll talk about prices as we get uh, to the cashing out process. But remember, you still get that one free game, so you can use that in any of the games you're about to see. Final Fantasy. Anybody that knows anything about video games knows Final Fantasy. This is Final Fantasy X-2. Now, why is it X-2? Well, there's also, this is actually the sequel of Final Fantasy X. We do not currently have Final Fantasy X in stock. Let me just make sure I'm correct on that. Yep, we, uh, we must be out of that. Yeah, I think our only copy of the first one of this game uh, just got sold. So, this is the sequel. Final Fantasy games as a whole are very successful, very great games. This one in particular, I would not recommend to start out with. This is not really an entry-level Final Fantasy game, especially because it's a sequel to a game you've never played. Um, the one, one of the ones that I would uh, recommend for an entry-level gamer is in this list, and we'll get to it eventually. But for right now, this is this is the back of the case on this. Last time she saved the world. This time it's personal. Yuna's story continues in the first true sequel of the Final Fantasy series. Pretty much what this game is, is a very massive RPG. It's turn-based gameplay, so that means it's not hack and slash like most games that have swords or fighting in it. But I do recommend Final Fantasy as a series. I don't recommend this one to start. You're going to take my warning? Okay. I'll put this in the uh, no pile, but I do recommend you come back for the first Final Fantasy X. Now, do you have anybody that may want to play an uh, E-rated game, meaning it's child-friendly? Okay, well, this is a perfect game for them. 
The Legend of K. This I've played to about the halfway point many times. Never really got around to finishing it. For a game that's meant for children around 10 to 15 in that range, this is surprisingly a very good game. Pretty much, you play as K. K is a cat, and you are fighting against, I don't really remember his name, but gorillas. And the back of it says, draw your sword, save your people, and become immortal. Take the role of K, a young apprentice working to master martial arts and save his once peaceful village from menacing foes. Master progressive fighting skills, jumps, and powerful weapons to take on wild gorillas, wreaking havoc on your homeland. Now, unlike Final Fantasy, this is a hack and slash game. So, it's action based and you pretty much do not remember the storyline of this game, but I would recommend this game, especially if you have any children that would like to play it. But for right now, let's move on. Now, what I've got here is Hunter's Favorites. If you know anybody that likes hunting and gaming, these are the games. Really the only hunting games that have such a big name. Cabela's. Big Game Hunters. And you pretty much do just that. If you're somebody that doesn't like to sit and wait around, or somebody that's really impatient, I do not recommend these games. But if you can uh, sit down and wait, I don't really remember what the time frames are, but many minutes, and wait for animals to come along and shoot them. <laughs> Maybe you don't have the heart to do that anyway. These are the hunting games I would recommend. There's not really much on the back of them. Yeah, so there's not much to say about this one. If you like hunting, these are your games. You're not a big hunting fan. I myself am not either, so I'll put these in the no pile for right now. Smuggler's Run. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is one of the first games made for PS2. And I don't really remember the premise of this game. Mind you, it's been years since I've played these games. Many years. All I know is I'm pretty sure you steal stuff and use your vehicle of choice to transport that stuff. And I guess try not to get killed? I don't really remember. But I'll read the back and see if we can find out. As a member of a gang of international smugglers, it's your job to evade the U.S. Border Patrol. Oh. CIA and cutthroat rivals to deliver illegal cargo. Oh, so you're a, th a thief of illegal cargo. It'll take complete mastery of your off-road vehicle to make it across unforgiving terrain and stay one step ahead and make the drop. I have played this game. I played it very minimally and it's only three dollars normally a game that's only three dollars is not going to give you too much excitement in your gameplay so based on those couple things i would say this is not a good entry level game for your ps2 but if you like racing this is a game for you all right i'll set it in the no pile for right now uh, here we go, a classic. It seems that we do not have the original case for it, but as you can see, th 
This is the Sonic Mega Collection. Well, Sonic really doesn't need any explaining, does it? Everyone knows who Sonic is and everybody knows how the game plays. So I'm pretty sure that this is a collection of three or four Sonic games. Probably the best ones. And I don't know if I've ever played the collection, but I have played the original Sonics. And like I said, you should already know what Sonic is. So if that's something you would like to play, let me know. Want me to put this in the maybe pile? I can do that for you. What I've got here and what I see next are two. Here, I'll just grab them both to get through two of my favorite racing games of all time. Jack X Combat Racing and Need for Speed Most Wanted. Each of these games are about $10 now. But Need for Speed Most Wanted is an open world racing game where you have to work your way up in the racing community in which city is it? Doesn't seem to say which city it is, but it may be a fictional city. You have to work your way up to rank number one in the racing community while escaping the police because obviously street racing is illegal. Uh, this is probably my second favorite racing game of all time, and likewise, this is probably my third favorite racing game of all time, Jack X Combat Racing. If you know Jack and Dexter for the PS2, this is just a spin-off game. It's a combat racing as in it's just a regular racing game, but your car is equipped with weapons, bombs, whatever it is. And if you've ever seen Death Race the movie, it's pretty much that but in a video game. Okay, so. Are you a Lord of the Rings fan? This is the third age Lord of the Rings game. If I remember correctly, this game is very, tries to be very similar to Final Fantasy, and I loved this game. This was one of my favorite games. And I think the only gripe I had about this game was that it was very short. It did not take very long to beat at all, so like longer games this is not the one for you but this says battle alongside members of the fellowship in an adventure spanning all three films and it is a very well-rounded game if, especially if you like RPGs Lord of the Rings speaks for itself if you see something with Lord of the Rings chances are you're getting a good buy so Maybe pile, no pile, maybe pile. Okay, good choice. Let's see what we've got here. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. This is the only game right now that we have both a used and a new copy. This one is the pre-owned copy, and this one is the new copy. Uh, I think the difference is only $1 at this point, so you might as well just get the new one, in my opinion. These are my favorite racing games of all time. There is so much to love about these burnout games. Pretty much what this is is just a very intense racing game that gives you 
a lot of control over destruction of environments and stuff, which I know that sounds bad, but they emphasize the fact that you can hit other cars and other rivals in the game and destroy their cars. So there's this mode called takedown mode, which all you have to do is chase down other cars and ram them off the road. It's just an all around very intense racing game. Um, I don't remember what the other ones are called, but I believe this is my second favorite one. And I would highly recommend this game as being one of the best games, not even in just the racing genre, but maybe of all time, any of the burnouts really. Maybe Brown? Okay. I think I only have one game left. Let's see. This. A lot of people are going to hate me for telling you this, so don't, don't let anybody else know. This is my final, fin favorite Final Fantasy game. This is Final Fantasy twelve. This game, and I can show you saved files to prove it. I've put over 400 hours into this game. The only other game I can think of that I put that many hours into is Skyrim for the newer consoles. This is a very long game. To me, a very well-rounded and almost perfect game. There's no such thing as a perfect game, but this is the closest thing to it, in my opinion. A lot of people would criticize me for saying that, but everybody's got their own opinion. I highly recommend this game. Let me just read the little background on the back. Discover the secret that will unravel an empire. As the war looms on the horizon, the mighty Arcadian Empire begins a campaign to subjugate, subjugate its neighbors. The small kingdom of Dalmasco was once such a neighborhood, and it is here that our tale begins. In a fight for freedom, fallen royalty and unlike allies must struggle to liberate their homeland. Trace the mysteries beyond the Empire's invasion and unmask the players in a drama of justice and betrayal. This game is straight RPG. It's half turn-based, half hack and slash. I don't really know how to explain it. The only way you're going to experience it is if you buy it yourself. So, this is the last game we have in stock right now for the PS2. Is there any games that jumped out at you as an easy buy? I can grab your uh, maybe pile right now. So these are the games that you have in your maybe pile. <clears throat> so what I would say personally is if you're not looking to spend a bunch of money this game is a no. Do not get this game because then you have to get the guitar and the guitars break sometimes and you'll have to get more. So if you're not in the market to spend a bunch of money, this is not the one I would go with. Do you want my opinion on the last four or would you like to choose your free game yourself? Okay, you want my opinion? What I would say is, are you looking to just get the one free game or do you want more than one game? And what's your budget? Okay, $20, I think I can make that work. This game is $8, this game is $10 and then you get a free game. Now unfortunately the cheapest one would be the free game, but what I can do for you today, because you're buying a console, I can
can give you a little bit of a special and I'll make this your free game. So I can get you Final Fantasy XII, Burnout Dominator, and Lord of the Rings, The Third Age. All for about $18 before tax, plus the game system and the paddle, which would run about $50 after the memory cards added to it. You want me to ring all that up and see how much it would cost? Okay. So your total after tax is going to be 76.68. Does that sound good for all of the stuff? Okay, very good. Um, oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Now, I don't know if you know this about the PlayStation, but it plays standard definition discs, which means as long as you have a movie that's not a Blu-ray movie or a 4k movie anything of that sort of thing um it will play in your playstation meaning you can play cds and you can play regular standard definition movies in your playstation without switching to another dvd player so that's just a cool little feature i forgot to tell you about so what i can tell you is we are getting new consoles in and if you would like to come back each week, I'm sure we'll have new things available for you. Such as, I believe we get a shipment of PS3s in next week. So if that's something you're interested in, I can go through my games uh, for you on the PS3 also. But that's for a later date. But for right now, I guess... Uh, $76.68. Thank you very much. Let me just put all this stuff over here for you. PS2. Last thing. Thank you very much for coming in today. I hope I helped you as best as I could, and I would really appreciate it if you, uh, you came back. And I'll be happy to help you next time as well. Have a good day.